you know, I'm gonna show y'all how to make beats like uh, Bully Mon for artists like Margiela and Smoking Skull. Here's a preview if I didn't already show one. simple um here's the uh main melody i like to start off some with uh something slow from like expand or um purity so this is just bell pad it's in the soft pads category uh i think down here somewhere in here in this big list but uh expand and purity the slow synth tab and purity um is really good to use so uh the melody is this and it just repeats something crazy um so how i find this is i start on this second note of the scale i'm using so in this um this specific beat i'm using b minor and I went up to C sharp, and then I went from C sharp in an octave. I went from C sharp or C C sharp five to C sharp six, and then I brought it down to G sharp and A for more tension. Because uh, something about this scale degree is really good um, to use. Um, I don't know why. I guess it creates a lot of tension and um, I guess like that evil feeling to it. Um, and then uh, I layered that with this pad from Expand, the Kapow pad. It's a very popular, super cool pad. And the mix on these is nothing crazy. This one, I think, yeah, it just has half time. I think this one does as well. Um, just EQs. Um, and then I add a choir. From Nexus. It sounds like this now. And then I added these bells. I'll play by themselves. This is what the bells sound like. Oops. It doesn't do much other than add some uh, some texture. Um, and then I added this later on in the beat. Let me go about this. Um, the preset is in soft leads. Uh, I just kind of went with something random, to be honest. Uh, this is what it sounds like. And here's how I mixed it. Some reverb, love filter, it's nothing crazy. So uh, this last thing from Purity is a uh, fiber hand bell, the generic plug bell, sounds like this. Here's the mix on it, it's literally just a half time, but um, that's it, I'll play all the, the melody together real fast. For the drums, you want to keep it simple. So I'll show you what the drums are like on their own. So this is the hi hat. Um, all these sounds are from the the bully mon kit. The drum drum sounds. Uh, really good kit. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna say that I'm one to purchase drum kits, but um, this this is definitely a good investment. The hi hat pattern is just this. It's fairly simple. There's like a little roll at the bottom, but you barely hear it.
these beats I try to keep the hi-hat simple um, you can add rolls but if you add rolls make sure that they're uh, like excessive and like drawn out um, this is the clap you already know what that does um, chant um, this is uh, I like to add like these cutoffs on the on the chant so um, here's what this sounds like and it really the cutoffs come into play here with the longer notes just as a head you uh, you get the gist of, uh, of this and there's another change there and then uh, I have this perk pretty generic rim shot sound uh, it just does this and here's what it sounds like with the clap so you know it sounds like as a pattern and then um, I have the snare pretty simple snare nothing crazy Um, and then I have this little like ding very quiet um, it doesn't do much to be honest and then I have uh, this sub and um, this is this is what the, the bass melody sounds like literally just plays one note That's, that's pretty much it. Um, the one thing I would say about these beats is that goes for the same uh, the same rules as plug. Um, you can either make it really chill and like have minimal sound effects, but um, in my opinion, plug, especially like old plug, uh, you need a lot of sound effects and stuff. So I have uh, chains, white noise, crash, keys. Um, Hat risers, and then I have this tag. Beach. Yeah, I know this tag. You just you know the generic plug sound effects. Um, I think that they're important. I think that they're good to use. Um, I guess I didn't start really it to be honest. They help as a. Um, this is all for this beat. I'm gonna I'm gonna move to the next one real quick. I don't know how many of you guys are from TikTok, but uh, I broke this beat down and the video hit 10k, so uh, I appreciate all the support from that. Uh, let me play a beat for people who don't know. I'm gonna kill you and everyone you know. For this beat, I master pitch it down 300 cents. Um, I start it with this piano and expand. Uh, this is what the pattern sounds like. In the original tutorial on TikTok, I didn't show this half, so uh, I'm gonna do the entire breakdown, I guess. Little, uh, little pad piano on expand. Um, it's pretty good. I just, just kind of stumbled across it, uh, just looking through all these sounds. And expand. I was trying to find something nice, and uh, I just came across this. Um, then I have this preset from the Boy Monkey uh, strings. I'm gonna just play the same melody, except uh, I changed when the top notes hit. I thought that note was up there. Uh, this is the preset. Big uh, octave big strings and expand. 
I have this stav. It's like a pentacato from expand. Um, this is what it plays. It's fairly simple. Um, and then I have the kapow pad again, and it plays um, this melody, the same melody as the piano. It's shorter. This string, expand, write format strings. Uh, this is the melody the strings play. I have this pad from Purity. It sounds like this. <laughs> Fairly simple. And then I have this bell that I described as the yeet noise on TikTok. Doesn't do much. And I use this as a synth. This from expand. Uh, I'm not sure what this does in the beat. I'm gonna be honest. Oh no, I remember now. And then I have this pluck that I think isn't even on pluck anymore. Um, it's in the ambient tab. It's called Ghost House. Um, it sounds like this, more like a, a pad, I guess, but this is the melody it plays. And, um, that's, that's it for the melody. Um, here are all the sounds together. <laughs> So for the drums, this is what the drums sound like. This is the hi-hat pattern on the beat. Uh, it's a little more complicated than the last one. Um, like I said, do them either really, really simple or really excessively. Secret tip, in my opinion, is to go here and then go on to one third. That's how I usually make these uh, rolls. One third or one sixth is good. Then I have, I think, the same clap from before. I have the snare, and this is the snare pattern. This chant that plays every bar. I have this perk, another rim shot. And I have this 808. It sounds like this. It's it, just a lot of sound effects. Um, and that's pretty much it for this beat, too. <laughs>
Yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want more tutorials, please tell me what to make tutorials on and I'll do it because I need to upload a lot more. Um, I lost all my watch hours privating old beats and I need to uh, get monetized soon, hopefully. But um, yeah, I hope this tutorial is somewhat helpful. Uh, I'm not the best at making tutorials, but I'll always try. Yeah, that's about all. Peace.